I'm glad that you noticed that as well, because that's one thing that really disturbed me about the debate last week. We've got Nabella Noor, for those that don't know what we're talking about. She asked a question from YouTube at the GOP debate asking how the next future president was going to address the culture of hatred. And this goes right in line, though, with President Obama's number one priority, which I believe is Muslim sensitivity. And we saw it following the San Bernardino attack when he had the audacity to go on air and tell us, tell us that our first priority is to be tolerant. What role does he play in this mess? Well, he's advanced the uh, jihad enormously. Just look at the world uh, before 2008 and look at the world now. What's interesting about that uh, YouTuber at the GOP debate is she's freer here than she would ever be under the Sharia in a Muslim country. She walked around and flapped that tongue without a hijab. Uh, she, li she literally would become the victim of some, you know, honor coda under Islam. The president is consistent. Every time there's a jihadi attack, Obama takes to the airways to stump for, to proselytize for Islam. He goes on to say the Islamic State has nothing to do with Islam. If it has nothing to do with Islam, what is it about? It's all Islam. They quote Islam chapter and verse. Just because they do doesn't mean all Muslims support jihad. Why do we have to talk about the Muslims that don't support jihad? There is a problem with the Muslims that do. And it's not just the Islamic State. It's Al-Qaeda. It's Al-Shabaab. It's, it's MILF in the Philippines. It's Hezbollah. It's Hamas. It's thousands and thousands of jihadi groups across the world all waging war in the cause of, of Allah. And you can, you know, you can deny reality, but you cannot avoid the consequences of denying the reality. And that's what the president has done. He has rewritten reality to the detriment and the danger of us all. And he calls it workplace violence. And people say President Obama is not responsible for terrorist attacks. Well, maybe not directly, but here's the thing. San Bernardino, the neighbors saw something. They saw some weird activity going on in that garage, but they didn't say something. Why didn't they say something, Pam? Well, they didn't say something because they were afraid they'd be called racist, Islamophobic, anti-Muslim bigots. And the fact is, if the San Bernardino uh, jihadis didn't get that attack off, they would have been called racist, Islamophobic, anti-Muslim bigots. Because anyone that sees something and says something and it doesn't convert into an actual violent attack is then accused of being a racist.